Hi, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to Faith in an Ever-Changing World, Encouragement and Hope Faith Story. I'm Janet Harley, your host. And today, uh, it is my pleasure to have Sharon Lanier. Sharon is an actress who seeks to participate in productions that aim to teach and enhance the joy and integrity of people's lives. She wants to leave this world knowing that she's had a hand in offering hope. How wonderful is that? Thank you, Sharon, for being my guest today. Thank you for inviting me to be your guest today. Yes, 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 ma'am. And right after this uh, short uh, introduction, then uh, we will hear what Sharon Lanier's faith story is today. We'll be right back. And welcome back. Sharon, if you will, please share your faith story. Yeah, so I'm actually going to talk about a short film that I recently produced entitled I Really Miss You. And so mm -hmm. while God is working in like every area of my life, I thought this was like a very recent illustration of how God uses our obedience for himself, right. which in turn satisfies our souls right mm -hmm. um first peter 4 10 talks about how we should use our gifts to serve others uh, but then the colossians 1 16 says uh all things have been created through him through god and for him yes so we have a responsibility to serve others uh which all leads back to him and Absolutely. so with i really and, and most people uh pretty much know that I'm in this business, like you you just talked about, um, to bring glory and honor to him. Like, it, honestly, like if if God wasn't in the picture, I just don't know that I would be an actress. Right. So I have um, this, this um, story. Okay, I, I guess I should go back from the beginning. All right, I don't, I don't wanna be confusing. So Mrs. Harley, just jump in here. Um, <laughs> 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 so with, I really, okay, first let me give you an overview of the story and then I'm going to go back to how okay. it all began. So I Really Miss You focuses on a lady named Ava and uh, a heart-wrenching difficulty that she goes through and in turn kind of lets go of God. Yeah. And um, I think it's, it's it's just so so relevant because... A lot of us. Um, so let's say you, you're doing this, like you, you, you're 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 following God. Um, you you're trying to to be obedient. You're reading scripture. You're praying, and mm -hmm. in your mind, you might think, "Oh, you know, well then, you know, I should be good," you know. <laughs> but then, like tragedy hits, right? And then it's right. like, so how do you process all of that? Some people actually walk away from um, God, some people actually just, they'll, they'll say, well, maybe he doesn't exist, right? But in this particular story, um, Ava, the main character, knows that God's exist, that he exists because she's seen him do too much in her life to doubt his existence. So she knows without a doubt that he's there, but she doesn't understand why. So she's mad and she lets go. So this film tackles um, uh, how you can process that and how you can still cling to his word because he is still there. Um, and there's a very pivotal scene where God and Ava actually have a full on discussion. Okay. So now back to the beginning. So, <laughs> <laughs> so over a decade ago, um, almost 15 years, I would venture to say, wow, this story was a short play that we performed at my church when I was living in Florida. Um, oh. I used to do little skits back then uh, along with uh, another actor. His name is Ronnell Thompson. And so they kind of had the both of us uh, come in and do things for the church. And um, honestly, he is more of the writer um, and 
and I'm more of the actress, but we were still tag team on writing, but writing just never really came natural to me. Actually, it still really doesn't. So whenever I would have something to do, uh, I live with my sister at the time, I would like bounce ideas off of my sister because mm -hmm. she's good at writing. <laughs> and, you know, it would be all good. Uh, but then there were two stories um, back then, about 15 years ago, that just the Holy Spirit, what I now know was the Holy Spirit, just deposited these stories um, into my spirit. And so this one, I Really Miss You, was wow. one of them. And then there was another one um, that I have on paper, too. That was another one. Um, and, and I could just hear it so clearly. Um, and that's how I knew it was God, because I was like, oh, I'm not a writer, but it was just like coming to me, coming to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and especially um, when, when I got to the um, the God Ava scene, it was like, oh, like that flowed like the easiest out of everything. It was like for every question that he had, God had a direct answer mm -hmm. and it was all like scripture. And it was mm -hmm. like I would hear the answer in my head, but I but uh maybe not the full scripture, but I would hear the answer. So like I could Google like, well, where is that scripture? And it would pop up and it was right there. I was like, oh, I'm plugging it. So literally in the in the film uh, and in the short play back then, it was it's like literal, literal scripture. Like I didn't even like try to change it to be like, oh, well, you know, how would, how would God, you know, say it in like this vernacular, like this current vernacular? Right. I'm like, you know, I'm just, no, I'm just going to lift this whole entire scripture. He answers back in, um, in scripture, exactly. <laughs> And so um, anyway, so so we had the the the, um, the script. So we did the play at my church 15, yeah. 15 years ago and it was great. But we did it like one time. But still, like I remember get, like we would hear the testimonies uh, about how, you know, how it had touched their lives. But that was it. We just did it the one time. And so um, ever since then, like the story has just rang like in the back of my head. Sometimes it would scream mm -hmm. at me louder than others. And so moving to Atlanta, I've often thought, you know what, we need to do this play again. Yeah. And um, I actually presented it to the church that I'm currently involved with. Um, um, and they were interested, but we just never really found the right time. Yeah. Um, and so it just kind of just sat there like in the air. <laughs> <laughs> and so COVID hit. Oh, and now yeah. like a lot of people in my personal circle, including myself, um, we're dealing with heartache. We're dealing with loss. We're dealing with confusion. Right. And now the story comes screaming again. Like, like now it's just not like sitting there like, oh, you need yeah. to do it. It's like, no, you need to do it yeah. now. The urgency. Like, okay. Right, exactly. That, uh, doing exactly, that. Yeah. man. And if you, and it, and it is something. It's so interesting when, when like, because you, you know, like God will tell you, like, yeah, you you need to do something. Uh, but then it's it's a whole different ball game when He's like, you need to do it now. And so it's right. like, okay, okay, <laughs> right. right. And so because I don't have a lot of experience on the producing side, like I primarily work in front of the camera. Right. As an actress, I don't do a lot of behind the scenes uh, things, uh, although I do want to. And that is actually my goal. I just didn't really have the uh, experience. But I'm um, like he said, go, let's do it. So the first <laughs> thing I had to do was uh, translate this play to uh, film because the play wouldn't work for film. It just wouldn't. And I'm like, oh, no, here we go again. I'm not really a writer. <laughs> like, I don't really know. And then it was like the Holy Spirit was like. You have writer friends, so don't even stress yourself out. Just ask for help. All mm -hmm. right, so here we go. Now we're putting one foot in front of the other. All right, first step. All right, so then Shelly Pano drops in my spirit, uh, uh, a friend of mine who helped write another short film yes. that I was a part of. Um, so I ask her, and she's like, yeah, I'm on board. And I'm like, oh, like, and it was so easy. Like, it wasn't even like a <laughs> begging, pleading type of thing. She's like, I'm on board from the get-go. So I sent her the script, she, and then, like, right away, she's like, I got an idea, like, super fast. Like, it didn't even take, Ooh. I don't even know if it took a day. If it did take a day, it might have been, like, one day. Uh -huh. So so we have, like, this idea, and I'm like, I love the idea. So she's like, let's work work, work off of that. So um, she does like this first outline. She gives it to me. And then we're piggybacking. So then I'm adding in things. So I'm helping her to write. Um, she's writing. And then we come up with this awesome script. And it didn't take long at all. Um, maybe two weeks, I think. I don't know. And that was more so because we were like busy at the time. So it was like stop yeah. calls, you know. So we have the script. 
uh, I'm reading the script. Here's another foot in front of the other. So I have to get these actors and it's and it's like literally like God showing me who he wants to play. Who, and I mean, as clear as day, Mrs. Harley. So like the actor who played. Um, sorry if you haven't seen the script because I'm getting ready to give away. I mean, if you haven't seen the film because I'm, I'm giving away uh, oh, <laughs> some, of the, done. some done. of the story. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but the actor who plays God, his name is Jonah. Limbert, can you still hear me? I just pressed something on yes. my uh -huh. Bluetooth. Okay. His name is Jonah. Um, and he uh, literally he literally popped in my head uh to play God. Like there was no thought about like no like like who should play, like no thought. But the thing is, um, he had stopped acting for a while because of some personal things he was going through. And so I remember like when he dropped in my spirit, my mind was like, he can't do it, he's he's gonna say no. But whatever, I put this one foot in front of the other. Now just ask, and yeah. so I ask, and right away again, like right away. And sometimes he's just slow to respond. To just to be honest, so just, he's my friend, but sometimes he's just like, Jonah, I texted you like three days ago, yeah. <laughs> but he again uh, responded immediately. He was like, I'm in. Wow. I'm like what? <laughs> so you knew that yes, God is in this because everything is just falling into place. Yeah, yeah. And even with another actor, he's not even an actor at all. But I saw him. Uh, he played one of the uh, demons and he's a uh, um, uh, he works in the gym, but his his I'm drawn to him because his, of his faith in God. And I was just like, he would be perfect to like help tell the story. But I'm like, he's going to say no. He's not an actor. He's super humble. And he said yes. But um, anyway, that's like for most of the cast, I say like 80 percent of the cast, like literally like God dropped into my mm -hmm. mind, uh, mm -hmm. who should play who, and it all came together. Um, <laughs> and then, and then, uh, let me hurry up and get to the end of this because we're like running out of time already, right? So then, <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so, in addition to like the cast, the locations. So, like, there's cafe scene. There's a um, uh, um, um, a pharmacy scene, yeah. and it was like, how do I secure this? location and immediately like holy spirit was like ask your neighbor so my neighbor actually owns a, a shop that has like a cafe and a store like all in one you can kind of break it up to make it you know look like they're separate even though they're the same um and he was like yes and i was like for how much and he was like for free you're good <laughs> Oh, yeah, even better. <laughs> like, oh man, this is crazy. Same thing with the, and this was like the biggest, like what I could have uh, worried myself out, uh, worried myself the most about. And I actually kind of did a little bit, but then I stopped, you know, as I listened to the Holy Spirit, um, was getting the film crew together, um, especially because I didn't have a big budget. And I was like, I don't know that I can afford to actually shoot this thing. So, yeah. um, and I'll never forget this too, because like uh, a friend of mine who owns a production company here, he popped what I now know uh, the Holy Spirit, like uh, told me to ask him at first. And I was like, no, he's too busy. I can't afford him. Like they do professional work. I can't afford him. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to move on. And so I stepped out and um, I asked my church if they would produce it. And they were like, uh, Maybe, but you know, they had like some time things and they were like, we'll get back to you. And when they said that, I was like, no, I know this is like a for now piece. Not, I don't want to yeah. wait because um, I don't know like when they're going to be able to do it. <laughs> so after um, I got that response, I was like, well, who else can I go to that will do this? And then Holy Spirit was like, I already told you who to ask. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. All right. And I'm nervous, <laughs> but I'm like, I'm just going to ask. And so I asked um, Jonathan Drake is his name. He's the the owner of Red Cube Creative. And um, I'm like, Jonathan, I have this story. And they typically do like commercials, industrials, that type of thing. I have this short film. Um, would you be interested in like helping me out? He's like, send it to me. So I send it to him. And immediately he's like, yes, I love this story. Oh I'm like, my what? Goodness. Right? But this was like email texting, right? So he's like, call me, we'll talk about it. So then like, yeah. uh, I call him and he's like, and I call him and he's like, so, because I know that they're professional. He's like, so do you have any investors um, involved? And I'm like, oh, great, here we go. I'm like, no, uh -oh. no. I really don't have, <laughs> I really don't have a budget. I just want to get this done. He's like, you know what, Sharon, don't worry about it. I got your back. 
go do this. Wow. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so again, that's just that one that. foot yes. in front of the other, like God yeah. setting up pieces. And then yeah. um, I wanted to like direct solely, but then I have a friend who I had recently met with, which I know was another God um, connection in the Atlanta area. His name is David Hewins. Um, and along with his son, Jackson Hewins, they do some filming. And when I told him uh, about what I was doing, he was like, I can help you out in any way that you want. And, oh and so when I, we'll I realized I couldn't really direct. And so he was like, I will direct. So we partnered up on the directing. And then he ended up stepping in to take care of editing, coloring, oh. um, help like get some of the sound solidified. It was, it was just crazy how everything was coming together. Like, yes. like literally like one foot in front of the other. Like yeah. I said, um, I wanted right. some awesome music and I have um, some cousins who are in the music industry, but they've never like scored a film before. And they were like, you know what, Sharon, Sh I've been wanting to score. Can I just try your film? I'm like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> you can score it. <laughs> Do it and let's see what happens. And I think it turned out brilliant. Um, there's a song at the end oh, of the is. film called Run. There, You'll hear it. Like there's a lady that's singing. Um, she comes in maybe like one minute before the film ends. And then she comes all the way through the credits. Her name is um, Anastasia Leone. And she's a childhood friend. And I was like, oh, you have wow. any music that you you know you think? And she was like, I got a couple. And so we like found the perfect song. I wanted to use it for a different scene. But when I heard that song, I was like, this works so perfectly. So again, it was just like, God, just here you go. Here you go. All you have yep. to do literally is just yes. walk. Yep. Walk. That's it. And I would do the rest. Just trust me. And I would do the rest. Don't freak out. Oh, man. Obviously, you know, we don't we don't have. <laughs> and that's the whole point of this. Right. So we don't have we may not have all of the tools that we need to get the job done, but we are yeah. called as the body of Christ. You may be the hand. I may be the finger. They may be the Absolutely. leg. They may be the toe. They may be the throat. So we're all called to work together. So yeah. if God is giving you an idea don't freak out over it. Just walk and he will bring the pieces to you. And it can even be as simple as he's telling you to talk to that person in the grocery store. Just yes. do it. Because when we That's obey, right. you just don't yes. know the outcome. And Obedience okay. Equals blessings. <laughs> Come on now. Okay. Wow. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and so just to, to wrap this up too. Oh, and we have an awesome poster too. I forgot to miss, mention there's a, an awesome poster it's on the IMDb page. <laughs> and that's from my cousin too. She was like a graphic uh, artist oh. and she was like, oh yeah, I'll do that. But <laughs> like, and there's so many other things I could talk about, but this is like, oh, you I know, know. got to hurry up and wrap. But I do want to, I do want to say this, and Mrs. Harley, okay. and, I, and I'll hurry up. But in, in response to the obedience, and this is the whole team. So it's not just me obeying. It's everybody else who's obeying too, right? Everybody who, who came yes. alongside with this project. Obviously, they heard a call and they said, okay, I'll do it. But the testimonies that we have been getting coming out of this thing, mind-blowing. It's so, it's literally humbling because you, I can firsthand see God's hand at work. And wow. I mean, if, if I told, we could do a whole nother podcast on the testimonies that I've gotten, but literally God using this piece to restore hope, to lift people up. And it's, it's so humbling to see how God uses each and every one of us. And oh, all we have to do is just obey, walk right. in it. Oh, right. Absolutely. It, it literally like, like brings chills say, to my body. Putting, <laughs> <laughs> like you said, putting one foot before the other in faith. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that is just wonderful. And and it, it just shows you that's how God works. And and he provides everything we need in order yeah. to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To do his will. Yeah. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. Well, Siobhan, it, I would like to ask you, what is one thing that we could do uh, to hold on to our faith in this ever changing world we live in? Yeah, I would say uh, hold on to Philippians 4, 6 through 7, which talks about uh, not being anxious uh, for anything, yes. but um, in everything every situation by prayer and petition, make your request known to God in the peace that surpasses um Oh, which uh, yeah, the, the piece that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind. Um, 
And the key to hold on to is that in everything and everything, make your request known to God. I know we we're talking about Absolutely. the film here, but I mean, in every, every area of your life, family life, you know, your, your no matter how life. big or small. Exactly. And that peace. Yes, that surpasses all understanding. Ooh. Will guard your hearts and your and, it, and listen. It may not be an answer that you want or that you were looking forward to, but there's right. an answer, and Absolutely. so you can still sit in that peace. Absolutely, regardless of what the answer is. Yeah. So cling Absolutely. to that, my friends. Yeah. I'm still, you know, I'm still. I learn it more and more the more I journey through this life, and when I really grab a hold of it, it's such a beautiful thing. It really Absolutely, is. it really <laughs> is. Truly, Sharon, thank you so much for being my guest today and for sharing this uplifting, encouraging story with us. Uh, your faith story today. Thank you, and 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 good luck and all. I know God is opening up doors and opportunities for you, and uh, we're just going to pray that He will continue to do that. And um, please follow Sharon Lanier because she is absolutely uh, her life is being lived for the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Thank I appreciate you. that. I, I wanted to say too, if anybody um, is listening to this and you haven't seen the short film, it's called "I Really Miss You." And you can find it on YouTube. You can literally just type in I really miss you, Sharon, or I really miss you short film and it should pop up. Yes. And actually, Sharon, I've got it posted in the comment section already. Look at you. So I've got that little <laughs> there and also your website. So, oh, so you. please do check it out. It's 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 a beautiful short film and um, and, and great for uh, these times that, that we are in. And I want to thank you all for watching and uh, also Creative Motion Network, my family network. Uh, so it's on Roku. So please, please check it out. Look this is up. Harley. Yes. Next time we need to do Sorry, I just cut you off. <laughs> yes, no, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. What you do? <laughs> I was just going to say next time we need to do like an hour show. Oh, yes, I know. I know. We could, couldn't we? <laughs> Maybe right, we'll do a take special edition sometime. And do that. <laughs> thank you, Sharon. Thank and you. thank you all again for watching. Have faith and look up, friends, where our help comes from. Bye. God bless. Amen. Amen.